Hello, my name is Marcel Bouquant. I'm Director of Product Management at Vico Software. In the previous video, we used the compare and update functionality to copy content from a reference into the current project. In this video, I will do exactly the same, but this time I will use the reference browser that I can use to copy content directly from the cost planner view. In this session, we will select the default reference project in the project settings. Then we will use the reference browser while working in the cost planner to insert components and assemblies from the reference into the current project. Open a project and select the Define Settings item from the workflow panel. Choose a project on the Vico project server that you want to use as a reference. This will now be the default reference that is opened when starting the reference browser in Cost Planner. You can also choose the color scheme that is used for all reference data. Select the Plan Cost Workflow item from the Workflow panel. Select the cell in your Cost Plan where you want to insert Cost Plan data from the reference. Now start the Reference Browser using the Reference Browser button in the ribbon. Use the browsing functions to find the components and assemblies that you're looking for. Once you identified the cost plan content you would like to use from the reference, click the Add to Project button. The selected content is now copied into your project. Note that there are three copy modes for cost plan content. Descriptions and Consumptions only copies the names of the components and assemblies, as well as the consumption values, but not the formula or quantity. Include formula copies the formula with takeoff item and takeoff quantity to be covered in a next video. If the takeoff item and or takeoff quantity does not exist in the project, the quantity will remain zero. Include quantities will copy only the quantity value and not the formula. The quantity value will remain the same as in the reference and will not be recalculated. The desired copy mode has to be selected before the copy operation is executed, so before you open the reference browser. In this video, we selected a default reference project in the project settings, which is automatically opened when using the reference browser. We also use the reference browser from Cost Planner to insert components and assemblies from the reference into the current project, and we use the Include Formula copy mode for this.